Well, we've got a slew of upgraded parts to throw on this HBX 16890 today. Uh, if you haven't already seen our video with these larger monster truck tires on it, go check it out because it's fun, but it did destroy our differential the rest of the way in the front. So we're gonna replace all those gears with metal, plus the drive shaft, the out drive cups, the spur gear, both differential gears, and also we're throwing a new wing on it because that's been broken for a while too. At the same time we did these tires, we also put the metal drive shafts in the front and rear, and we put some oil filled shocks on it. All that made such a big difference, but we never replaced the plastic gears in the differentials or the spur. And unfortunately the front differential went out. So now we're just gonna replace everything else. Spur gear and rear diff gears are in good shape, but we are still replacing all that. Pinion gear is horribly stripped out in the front. How are we gonna put this thing all back together? Well, we're not even done taking it apart yet. Still got lots to do. Junky plastic differentials out of here. <laughs> The pinion gears have a place for a countersink screw and there are threads in here, but it, none of this comes with a screw. So I do not have a screw to put in here. Now to get this pin out of here, you actually have to remove this little set screw. Let that pin come through the hole, and then you can pull her out. Make sure you don't screw this screw in too far or it'll actually lock the diff in place and keep it from turning. So verify that before you install it. All right, I've got the front one done now too. The drive shaft is able to slide into this rear joint too far. So when it slides all the way in, it barely leaves anything to grab the pinion. And I do not have a screw to fit that right now. So I'm gonna try cutting a little piece of rubber hose to slide into that slot to take up some of that slack. Oh yeah, that is much better. I ended up using two small pieces of rubber hose. <clears throat> These are spare parts.
I just double checked that drive shaft was supposed to come with screws to attach those pinion gears. Um, so hopefully nothing happens while I wait for the screws to come in. I'm going to contact them, contact Banggood and see if they'll send me a set of screws for it. Um, cause they were not in the package. Hopefully nothing happens in the meantime. The pinions fit in there pretty tightly, but, um, I can still see issues possibly arising from this, but we're still going to run it. Because we have some super awesome plans for the next bash video of this car and that'll probably be out later this week. Hopefully this video was helpful or entertaining for you. If it was, please hit that like button for us. On our very next video, we are going to run this on a 2S battery, a 3S battery, and we're going to see what happens with these giant tires on it. So like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you on Saturday.